Think up social media metrics monitoring, free and awesome. So my man Greg turned me on to this cool Think Up, thinkupapp.com. I'll put the link for you in, uh, you know, all the places, all the places. But check it out. So this is a free open source web application that captures all of your activity on social networks like Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And so that is cool in and of itself, but um, the stats are really great. It pulls in all of your Twitter stuff. I was so, I, I didn't even know all this Twitter stuff was still there, but it is, all my, my tweets are out there somewhere. And now they are actually on my own database, which is really kind of cool. ThinkUp is a tool that you install on your own server. Um, uh, you know, running PHP, Linux type of base server, you know, that type of thing. If you have a MySQL server or database, you are good to go. Um, I set it up in probably five minutes. If you've set up, you know, a, a database based application on your web server before, this is as easy as it gets. Man, those I remember the days when it, it took forever to install stuff, but that's not the case here. So this, they gave... Um, uh, some example accounts here, and they're just more interesting than mine, so I thought I would show them. So this is from the White House, actually, and this is um, this Macon 44 here, and you can kind of get a feel for what's going on here. They show you the hot posts. Um, I think this is of the week. This is on the dashboard of Twitter, and then you can see followers by day, followers by week. This week's most retweeted, so you can see that. Um, different types of posts, client usage, so you can see most of their usage is web-based. So that's just kind of this dashboard, but then check it out. So you click on tweets, and then it starts showing you, um, I think this is just from the most current to, uh, you know, from the newest to oldest, and you know, tweets to you, it shows you those. Then most replied to all time. I love this, I love this. And then most retweeted all time. And you can click on this more and see this. So you know, you can, it'll just go down the list of most retweets to least retweets. And I mean, it's amazing, amazing data here. And then you can uh, click on any one of these numbers here. So you can click on this 29. So pop quiz, who knows what nationwide thing is happening today at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, 29 retweets forwards to 2.5 million people. So that's kind of the reach of it. And then you can see exactly who retweeted it and to how many followers. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I love it. I love it. And then you can see uh, favorited. You can see then a response map. So check this. You can see where, so you let's go down here. Two from, one from Puerto Rico and one from Colombia. So let's see, let's see. Oh, wait, no, wait. Yeah, so here, this guy from Puerto Rico um, is, you know, tweeting it out. Here's um, three from Florida. So you can see here the response map here. And I mean, it, geographically, it's just... Wow, man, it's just great. It's just really great. But wait, there's more. I mean, you know, so so you, you, you get the feeling, right? I mean, you can see all this Twitter stuff, but then you can go into your Facebook. You can do Facebook profiles, Facebook pages. This is the White House uh, Facebook page, hot posts. You can see that. Response activity, which get likes and uh, replies. This week's most replied to posts. And the cool thing about this is I like seeing this stuff because if you see what gets liked and what gets replied to, you can do more of that, you know? So like, for example, this one, the, uh, the, this week's most replied to post. Uh, this week in Indonesia, I was proud to join leaders from some of our nation's top companies as they announced trade deals that will support nearly 130,000 American jobs and that sort of thing. So, and then you can click on this 2100 replies so you can, and you can just start going through this and you can see the most popular reply keywords. And, um, you know, and it's not all great, right? I mean, there's some, you know, people are a little upset. Some, you know, Ron Paul, 2012, dude, what he means to say is cost 130,000 jobs. So you can see it's, it's, it's engaging because this is kind of a controversial thing in some respects, but 
just the same, it gives you a feeling for what gets people involved. And so you probably would never get nearly as much negative as the White House. Uh, you know, only 50% of people like him, right? <laughs> Something like that. Likes by day, so you can see that. It's, you know, it's uh, about 498 a day. Uh, likes by week, likes by month, and it, on and on. Then you can see fans here. So, oh, maybe I wasn't fan, sorry. So posts, and again, you can see the posts here. And um, it also does Google Plus. So these guys don't have Google Plus set up on this account yet, but you can just see the awesomeness of this. It's just really, really cool. So um, the deal is you gotta go to thinkupapp.com. Just go to thinkupapp.com. You download it, you upload it, you follow the directions, and uh, you're done. That's it, you're done. So check it out. These are really great stats. I'm gonna keep the stat train going on social media. I, I, I feel like we are in a renaissance of stats in social media, and so um, I'm gonna do some more of these videos. But if you, uh, this is this is great and and free, man, just free. I, oh, I can't believe it. So check it out. Uh, think up at thinkupapp.com. Com. All right, everybody, this is Sage Lewis, the web marketing video guy, and happy marketing!